Hello friends, welcome. Uh, well, I just thought I'd have a little chat about Reiki. Uh, Reiki means uh, universal life force energy, which is chi energy or ki energy in Japan. So, you know, it's naturally in us. Uh, I mean, Reiki is considered spiritual healing. So it's our spirit. It's uh, the energy life force of our spirit, which you know, is greatly energy supplies through the chakras of the spirit, uh, the, the energy body, if you prefer to call that. So, so really when we're healing, we heal over the major chakras, which are seven, starting from the root chakra in the base of the spine, uh, going up through to the crown chakra above the head. And there are other chakras above that, and there's the earth star chakra or earth chakra below the feet and multiple other chakras around the body, smaller ones, especially in organs and, you know, joints and places like that. So the meridians uh, are the energy highways of the chakras. They're connected to the chakras and the energy body and the energy flows through the meridians to different energy uh, requirements of our spirit and of our uh, physical life and, and mental and emotional uh, states. So, you know, it goes where it's needed. <laughs> now, we don't really need to control Reiki. Um, when you lay your hands on somebody, you don't have to do anything, but it's advisable to ground and protect yourself before you heal, and it's always advisable to ground and protect your client before you heal, and it's always advisable to ground and yourself at the end and your client always ground your client because they can have much greater spiritual perceptions when they're being healed because you're filling their energy and they're they're like a battery and you know you're topping them up with uh key energy and it can make them very spiritually aware and you know you don't want to send them out away after they've finished in a very aware state because they can pick up senses from other people in a supermarket, for instance, they can suddenly feel like an empath, you know, overloaded with uh, different things. This is why we ground them and reconnect them to the earthly vibration at the end, clients and ourselves. So, you know, you bring yourself back to the present, the physical connection, and, you know, you've closed them down as well at the end. So I always... Always, uh, you know, Reiki opens their, their chakras and it, it opens the healer chakras. And, you know, I do a meditation before I start healing of opening my chakras, my energy body and receiving the Reiki to channel that. We're just like an open tap. It just flows through us from the universe and around us from the earth uh, into the client's uh, energy body. And it then transmutes to heal the physical life. So, so yeah, as I say, you know, ground and protect yourself at the, uh, at the start and ground at the end, just to, you know, uh, give any excess energies to the earth as well. You know, they can be used in other ways. Um, so Reiki, you know, it is put down by some and, and you know, all healings. That those uh, within certain religions, you know, they cast dispersions upon Reiki and other healing modalities, which there are many. There's Reiki healing, pranic healing, chi healing. There's many other times, faith healing, spiritual healing. You know, they're different names, but they're all using the same energy, uh, which, you know, you can channel it from the universe alone, and it works perfectly. Or you can pray for it, and it works just the same. No difference whatsoever. So if you want to pray for it from whoever you want to pray from it, for uh you know which i pray to god as well and i, I give my hit my uh, reiki clients a choice i say if you just want to receive it from the universe that's fine i'll just channel it from there if you're open to receive it from the universe and god i channel it from there so yeah give them a choice uh and you know i get the old one that says yeah can i just have it from the universe i had one not recently um when we we're allowed to start healing again so yeah there's all these different things and you know some you know christianity is one that says only christ can heal and you know there were people and he was a great healer and there's no doubt christ was the most powerful healer that's ever set foot on this earth if if you're open to believe what's written and i certainly am i believe in him very very strongly and you know i believe he did a lot of great uh, works on this world that uh, greatly inspired people what christians have made for 
of it is something completely different. I don't belong to Christianity. I don't want to be a Christian or any other religion uh, because I want to find my own spiritual path and, and find my own truths. So, yeah, but greatly attracted to spiritual healing back from 95 onwards. And then Reiki, I started doing Reiki from 2015 onwards. And I love Reiki. It suits me. Uh, it's really the right thing to do. So, of course, you know... Um, it's great that, you know, Christ was such a powerful, wonderful healing, gave such evidential proof of the powers of healing. But just about everybody on this world can heal, and many other species as well, because your child falls over and hurts themselves. You give them a cuddle, or an animal licks their uh, pup with love because it's poorly, or whatever it is, and they're transferring energy from their own self to that child, to that uh, animal to help it because it's founded through love and that love transmits some of their n natural healing energies that they got in their spirit in their bo energy body to the child or other animal and it heals it and they feel better in no time at all off they go and start playing again so yeah so you know healing has existed since the beginning of time you know, uh, little cultures started forming and they appointed a medicine man, you know, and they'd lay his hands on people and heal them. And they didn't know how it worked, but it just channeled through them naturally. So you don't have to pray for it. You don't even have to ask the universe for it. You can just lay your hands on somebody. They will warm up. The flow will begin. You feel a flow going through you of energy. And when you've given enough to that area, your hands cool down and the, the flow stops and tapers off, and then you move to another area, warms up again, <laughs> so and it starts flowing again. So, you know, you know when you're healing somebody, you can feel the flow when you become a little more sensitive to it. So, yeah, everybody can heal, and, you know, Christ wasn't the original healer, <laughs> and, you know, he was a great healer, but he wasn't the original healer, and it's not only he that should heal, because if if God or whatever it is didn't want us to heal, he wouldn't give us the ability to do it in the first place, would he? <laughs> or whatever you believe in, wouldn't give us the ability in the first place. So, so yeah, healings existed because people wanted to heal and, you know, they love one another and they found when they held each other and cuddled each other or loved or held their hands on each other that they, they could make a person feel better. So healing's been around for hundreds of thousands of years, no doubt, in the beginnings of man. Uh, so also, you know, there's been uh, Reiki's founded through Buddhism and, and shamanism and uh, uh, other, other belief systems. It's, you know, because Dr. Asui, he's called Dr. Asui, but really wasn't a doctor, Mikao Asui Sensei, he went and researched it and found Buddhist texts of a Buddha that spoke about the uh, bright white light, uh, bright uh, shining light, rather, of Reiki, uh, 2600 BC. And the Buddha himself, the main Buddha, he also healed people. So that was 3000 BC or so <laughs> before that. Uh, so yeah, healing has been around for a very long time and uh, is a natural ability, so there's no wrong in it, there's no sin in it, there's no bad thing in it, it's just whether you're open to it or not. You know, if you want to be open to receive Reiki, you receive it. If you're not open to it, that's fine. It, and what Reiki does, it works by the greater good. So if you are watching one of my videos and you do not want the Reiki, it simply bounces off because it's rejected by you. You block it. Uh, people that really want that and, you know, are suffering and say, please, please heal me, you know, it really does do a great deal of good because that energy is received at whatever level. And, you know, you're sending it distantly or through videos. It's not quite as strong as in person, no, but it can still do a lot of good, especially if you do it regularly. And, you know, when we see clients, it's often just once a week, unless it's something really serious, you know, and then you might want to see them more than once a week. Or distant healings, you might want to do somebody more than once a week if they've got something terminal, uh, maybe every day. And, you know, it will help ease their suffering and it greatly uh, alleviates pain and mental suffering, Reiki. 
and it can clear blockages in you, you know, in your energy being that have been bottled up for many years. And it releases different things in the mind so that if you've had a trauma in your past, even if you can't remember what that trauma was, it can release it and unblock it in time. And you will have, it will come to the surface. It will be quite prevalent in you uh, until you release it. And, you know, if you receive the healing, you're probably ready to release that trauma or whatever you experience you got or pain in your body when you're being healed it will get worse and it will you know uh you may have seen the video i made with sonia recently you could see she was having spasms and you know in pain when i was healing her because it brings it out it draws it to the surface to be released negative energies depleted energies and it recharges your energy being and gives you a lot more ability to self-heal because that's really Although we're healers and we do heal people, yes, but what Reiki does more than anything, it puts that energy into you so that you can self-heal. And, you know, that energy works for a few days after each treatment. And the next day you can have what's called a healing crisis where something prevalent in your mind or body comes to the surface, feels worse, and then is released. And you feel a lot better for it. So, yeah. So, yeah, whatever people say about healing, and, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, whether they believe in it or do not believe in it, and that's fair enough. But I've found, you know, the people that do believe it are more open-minded. You know, they say, well, maybe it'll do some good, maybe it won't, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> and I've had people come to me, you know, and, and cured them of their uh, childhood abuse in six weeks, uh, five sessions, rather, five weekly sessions, and, you know, they were a different person afterwards. They went on to become a Reiki healer. They Their mind was set free. They left their religion and went out and found their own spirituality and beliefs. So it really, really did bring uh, flashbacks into their mind during the, the uh, after the sessions the next morning, mostly, for a few days, having traumatic flashbacks about the past. But it released it and let it go until they felt, good and healthy and you know I've had people with post-traumatic stress disorder come to me and they've said you know I felt a big lump of darkness come out of me and they were truly traumatized uh, people and they've gone out of here and said I walked away and I felt so light and airy I smiled and I was so happy because they'd left uh, something given something up and left it behind and it'd gone back to the universe for cleansing so yeah yeah reiki is a great thing i love it i'm totally dev devoted to reiki because i know how much it can do but of course there are skeptics out there and there's those that preach against uh reiki healing other modalities of healing other forms of of healing but you know it's about whether you're open-minded or not to it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that up. You know, I just wanted to talk a bit about my beliefs in Reiki. Uh, I, I love it and I do it because it works. You know, and I do it on YouTube. I'm not charging anybody anything. I, if I do have a client, it's at a very low rate compared to most. Um, but that's life, you know, and um, I do my best to be of service to humanity. And I really care deeply about helping people and that's why i do it because i see it can <laughs> and that's that's the crux of it isn't it you know if you disbelieve in it that's fine if you're a skeptic that's fine you know each to their own but when you use it on people that want to receive it and you see how much good it does to just about all and it may not cure them and we don't ever promise a cure but it will alleviate some of the symptoms it will make uh things a little easier for it and i was healing somebody with cancer for uh, about eight weeks distantly and uh they passed over you know it was terminal cancer when they come to me and you know the person said please cure them please cure them i said i can't promise a cure you know i could just do my best and you know it's not up to me whether they get cured or not it's the higher power and reiki is guided by a higher intelligence and it naturally goes to where it needs to but that person that wasn't eating when i started treating them started eating again and uh, that when they had healing sessions they were a lot calmer after it and even the night before uh, they passed that they were in a terrible state very uh frantic and worried and stressed and you know uh sent them a distant healing they calmed down went to sleep 
next morning didn't wake up, sadly passed over, you know, and uh, I didn't, did that very at a very low rate, you know, to help that person. So it can make the transition for people easier and even crossing over when they've gone to send them healing to help them make the transition into the next life. You know, you do your best. And, you know, I always do it with love, you know, because love is the greatest healing force besides this energy. You know, that that's really what does most of it, the energy. But if you transmit it to those you're healing with your compassion or love, uh, a bit of both sometimes, and, you know, it'll help. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know, just having a little chat because uh, I wanted to test out my GoPro, which is really too wide for this. I need it like about here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Love and light to you. Bless you. Neil.